Hey guys, this is Hydra from X Traits back with another weekly video. And in this video, we'll just start off by going over the indices and then individual names. Um, so as usual, we'll start off with the indices. So SPY and QQQ. Overall, SPY still looks very, very strong. And last week we did have one week of rest. And then this week again, we continued to break out higher. Um, but yeah, overall, not much to say. Overall, SP1, QQQ, very, very strong, right? They continue to grind up higher every single day um, and every single week. And this week, we did have a pullback on Wednesday. We did gap down pretty hard. Or, you know, we did gap down. Uh, we didn't gap down that hard on SPY, but on QQQ. Um, or we didn't gap down, but we did have a pretty nasty pullback uh, these three days, right? And then on Thursday, we gapped up very, very strong because of NVIDIA. And then overall, on Friday, we just continue to consolidate. So SPY also, same thing. No gap down, but we did pull back here to the 20-day. And then we gapped up very, very strong on Thursday. And then on Friday, we just uh, pretty much consolidation day, right? So SPY and QQQ pretty much look identical. SPY is acting a little bit stronger. It did make uh, it did have a stronger breakout and a stronger gap. So overall, the market is looking really, really healthy. And uh, yeah, we just continue to grind higher, like I was talking about before. Um, I will say that SPY is looking pretty extended, though, right? Look at the distance from it went from 408 to 510. So again, I still think that SPY or in QQQ. Our overall market is getting a little bit frothy and getting a little bit uh, ahead of itself, but um, in my opinion doesn't matter, right? As long as the trend is still intact and then continue to be bullish, and then until we lose this trend line, then that's when we want to start thinking about the other side, right? So um, as long as this trend is intact, I I'm going to continue to remain bullish. I, I will be cautious because we are getting extended, but as long as the trend is intact, then yep i will continue to be bullish and same exact thing with qqq um and not much else to say right there right uh the trend line's holding qqq looks like it's actually getting more like consolidation spy did break out qqq looks like it's just consolidating here but overall really really good action you know i will also say um in march and april usually in uh we typically do get like some sort of pullback in terms of seasonality so do watch out for that um but yeah, let's take a look at IWM and ARKK as well. IWM looks like it's just chopping around. Um, it did reclaim the 199 level. And so that is good. And uh, yeah, overall, I think IWM looks pretty healthy. Uh, and it looks like it wants to break out of this really, really long base. But yeah, we'll see what happens. Overall, I would say IWM looks pretty good as well. Let's take a look at ARKK. <clears throat> ARKK is still struggling here a little bit, still like chopping around between this area. Did have a nice breakout here and then <clears throat> it rejected that 51.3 level and now it's just pretty much just consolidating once again, right? So yeah, not much to say. ARKK does look a little bit weaker compared to the indices still. Um, now let's take a look at some individual names. First, we'll start off with the big cap tech stocks. <clears throat> so start off with Apple as usual. So Apple looks like it was trying to break that downtrend but uh looks like it failed so let me actually yeah matches up better when i draw like this right um so yeah apple is still in this downtrend and if it can take out that 185 level then i think it can be bullish and could see a bounce but um yeah if apple loses the 180 level then that would be very very bearish and then amd amd looks like it's just consolidating if it can take out that 184 level this looks like a really good long setup but yeah, not much to say <clears throat> other than that for AMD. It's just consolidating between this range over here. Let's take a look at Google. So Google is also similar to Apple. It's currently in a downtrend right now, but not too bad. Looks like it wants to break out of this downtrend soon, so we'll see what happens. It's forming like a longer term flag over here. Overall, Google looks uh, pretty pretty good I would say um, yeah it's just consolidating it did break out of that resistance level and bounced off then it got closer it bounced off again now we're just tightening up 
um, be a few more days of consolidation and then a big breakout or a big breakdown. Um, let's take a look at Meta. Meta is acting really, really well. Did have a nice breakout on Thursday, which was a nice flag setup and then cap up and go on Thursday. So overall, Meta looks really, really good as well. Um, Microsoft. Microsoft also, uh, I, I was thinking this would be a short play if it lost that 403 level and it was working and then on Thursday it got up because of NVIDIA and then it actually ended up filling this gap. So we'll see what happens now if it fills this gap now. Um, but yeah, overall Microsoft looks okay. Netflix also had a very, very strong, um, or it had a strong bounce here and then it consolidated and then had a gap up again and then on Friday put in a consolidation bar. So if it takes out that 591 level, then it looks good. NVIDIA had a very strong earnings report, huge gap up, and then very strong close on Thursday. And on Friday, it uh, looks like it hit that 800 level and then uh, pretty much uh, got sold into. But overall, NVIDIA looks very, very, very strong. This is the true market leader for sure. And then last but not least for the tech, big cup tech names, let's take a look at Tesla. Tesla is actually consolidating here pretty nicely. So if it breaks that like 200 level, this is a very good long play in my opinion. And the target would be 207. So this one looks actually, this actually looks pretty decent. Um, I like that flag that it's building and I think it looks ready to break out next week. So this would be a good uh, short term trade. Now let's take a look at some individual names. Uh, let's start off with Airbnb. Airbnb. Um, Airbnb is looking pretty good here. Uh, it's starting to form a flag. So if this can tighten up just a little bit more. This one looks really, really good. Um, and it also looks really good on the weekly chart as well. Really nice uh, base in this. Looks like it's trying to break out of this base now. So overall, very, very good action from Airbnb. App is another one. App looks like it's ready to break out here as well. It's testing that 58.5 level. So if you can take that out, then this one looks like a very, very good long setup. Um, ARM, this one also is consolidating very, very well. The 135 level is key. So if it takes that out, then this looks like a nice long setup. And right now it's just consolidating uh, between these two levels, right? So yeah, if you can take out 135, 136. Looks good. And then, yeah, the support is at 117. So if it loses that, then this would be short over there. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it for ARM. Cart had a very, very strong breakout this week. This one was showing relative strength all week long. And I like that volume, increasing volume. Look at the volume over here and look at the volume here, right? So that's some clear sign of accumulation going into the stock. So this is one that you definitely want to pay attention to. CLSK, this is probably one of my favorite setups for next week. Really nice uh, move, right? Very, very strong move off the lows. Went from six or $8 to 19 a very short period of time. Big volume, and now it's starting to consolidate, go sideways here. And if put in that inside bar here, so overall it looks really, really good. And I think, uh, yeah, it's a very good long setup over that 17.15 level. And coin is similar, very, very strong rally back in and now it's forming a little flag so if it takes out 170 i think it's ready for uh, a bounce next leg up Havana had a very strong gap up but it got faded into overall still looks really really good um yeah on the weekly chart it looks great and clear so it broke this uh big resistance level and then uh, yeah, so this was the base and then it finally broke that big resistance level and uh, yeah, it looks pretty solid. Um, so this is definitely one that you want to keep an eye on. Um, but this one has been acting really, really well recently. Um, yeah, it did form like a little flag here. And then it broke out on Friday. So this one's definitely a top watch going into next week. I also really like this one because look at that weekly chart. It's been basing for a long time. And just now it's starting to break out here and really really strong volume on that breakout so this one has a lot of potential this one can easily double or even triple in a short period of time next up let's take a look at onon this stock is starting to build like the right side of its base here uh <clears throat> starting to form a little flag here so 
we'll see what happens. But overall, this stock is acting pretty well, and it did take out, or yeah, it did take out that thirty one point five seven resistance level. So overall, the stock looks uh, pretty good, and it's building that right side of the base. Um, Shark, this is another earnings gap up that's also been acting really well recently formed a nice flag and then broke out on Friday. Not the best close, but we'll see what happens next week. I have a feeling that this one is going to continue moving higher. And I really like that volume um, and a really strong volume bar on that earnings report. So that looks really good. SMCI, this one's still consolidating. Um, this one had a very strong gap up on Thursday because of NVIDIA and then on Friday gap down again. So this one's just, it's very, very tricky to trade, right? So I think ideal situation form some sort of flag goes sideways for a couple of days and then we'll see what happens but until then there's no trade set up on this and then sq this one similar to carvana had a very strong gap up not the best close at all but this one has potential um starting to yeah build that base right so this one if it can break that 81 level then has a lot of potential for sure um but yeah that's pretty much all i have for this week and if you guys are interested in any mentoring mentoring sessions, uh, always feel free to DM me and we can do one-on-one -on -one mentoring sessions. Um, but yeah, if you guys have any questions, always feel free to DM me as well. And uh, yeah, I hope you guys have a great weekend. Thank you for tuning in. There's a reason why Xtrades is currently the fastest growing application on the market for sharing financial ideas. With over $2.5 million paid in the last two years to contributors, users are flocking to see what trades the top traders on the leaderboard are sharing in real time. If you're looking to grow your reputation as a trader on the internet or discuss your trading ideas with other reputable investors, click the link below and get connected with a trading mentor today, completely free of charge.